Hey guys, it's Nate from The Bike Company. I want to take a minute and do a bit of an extended review on the Pock Cordal Race Helmet. Some of you may have seen my initial thoughts and none of that's really changed, but I've got a, some more insight with more miles on this helmet. And I want to go through uh, really what I like about this particular helmet. First off, the fit. The fit on this helmet fits a wide range of riders. Uh, my brother and I, we both ride this act the this particular POC model and that's unusual because in Arai motorcycle helmets he rides the round oval and I ride the long oval helmet so this POC helmet has a wide range of head sizes that it fits now there's a handful of reasons for that you've got the the typical adjustability here one thing that I, I frequently forget to do is you've got the vertical adjustability here that can move this catch up and down to really get a good grab on your head. That's, that's an important thing to really fine tune your fit. Another thing I really like about this helmet, as opposed to a lot of the original MIPS helmets, there's not a ton of flop in this helmet. The, the MIPS system is really, really built into the standard helmet. so. It's got movement, but it's it's. I feel like I'm still attached to the helmet versus some of the earlier MIPS systems where you felt like the helmet was floating much more on top of everything. Uh, I think this has a, a much nicer feel overall when you're riding. It's not, you don't notice it as much. So it's got the movement to dissipate some energy, but it's not flopping around. It feels, it feels solid. This helmet's well ventilated. It's important here in SoCal. I've had it out in some pretty hot days and I don't find it to be any warmer than I would expect. While it's well ventilated, what's more important than that to me is that it's very, very protective. And we're gonna cut for a second because there's a helicopter. All right, helicopter's passed. So 479 grams, it's a light helmet. Where that adds up on a long day, having a heavy helmet flopping around, it's hard on your neck. So the, the weight, not super critical to me, but if I can get this level of protection in a reasonable weight, I am happier. Speaking of the protection of this helmet, what drew it to me initially, I really like the amount of detail that goes into the design. So temples, temples have a substantial amount of protection. It's got good coverage low on your head. I never really liked the cross country helmets that felt like they fit higher up and left a lot of the back of your head exposed. If I'm falling, it's generally, well, I try not to fall, one. And uh, I'll share my most recent uh, exit off the bike because it's so graceful. And the guys at the shop definitely haven't made fun of me particularly when I use my arms as uh, little wings apparently. So enjoy that, I'm gonna lace that in right here. But back to the helmet, the helmet feels like a real helmet. It feels like it comes down properly to where if I hit the back of my head, I've got coverage. Well, I'm gonna probably be cramping the next two days. Something else that's really important to me too much this is that. a it's got a little bit of a, a <laughs> sharp detail edge to it but it's not so sharp that it's gonna grab so I really believe in the the dissipating energy without grabbing so every surface on here is gonna want to keep moving and not necessarily lock up I really like the design of the breakaway visor Let's see if I could do this without the audio totally wigging out. But adjustable visor up and down. It's a pretty snug adjustment. I really feel like you got to pull on it. But the way they've designed it, that same snug adjustment when it's moved backwards is actually quite minimal the amount of pressure that it takes. And it's gone. Now, that same visor, 
easy to reinstall. Click in the sides. And then on the back, it's got a larger opening here. You just slide it in, and there you go. Really like that in terms of if you're riding in bigger terrain and that grabs, I like that it, it cleans off and it gives you that nice rounded surface that's not gonna grab and be pulling on your neck very hard. So, highly recommend these helmets. A couple of the features that I don't use, I never bothered with the medical ID. Uh, I ride with my buddies and I generally have enough ID on me that I figure that that's not something that I've particularly used. But other than that, I really like everything about it. The Rico, I hope I never have to use, but it's, you know, when things go wrong, you always think about like what percentage of a chance that was. And if this gives you a little bit better chance, if things go wrong, it's great to have. So comfortable helmet, protective. You should be replacing your helmets about once a season, in my opinion. They're foam, they do age. Um, nobody really wants to come out and say, this is the window that it needs to be replaced in because there's a lot of liability in that. For me, once a year, whether I've crashed or not, the helmet's gone. If I've crashed, it's definitely gone because once that foam compresses a single time, it's not going to operate the same the next time and you don't want to risk your head on something like that. So, POC helmet, again, highlights fit, the range of fit. The new MIPS Integra is great. The substantial protection in impact areas, also a, a real recommendation here on the POC systems.